What is up guys, Austin Richo here, I am Zio, and today I am kind of showing off reviewing whatever the new Spider-Man pops of course getting ready for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse because of course as this video goes up, the day it goes up, will be the day that the Spider-Verse comes out so we'll do these pops now and then later on in tonight we'll have the review up so if you want to see our review of Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse you can check that out later on the channel but let's go and look at what we got here so we've got two that don't fit in but they're still Spider-Man we have the Spider-Man from the GameStop or from get the Spider-Man game, I'll get it confused, game reverse Spider-Man, but it's from the PlayStation 4 game, so we have just the regular Spider-Man, and then we have the negative Spider-Man, the GameStop exclusive glow in the dark version there, um, so my brother, these are his things that he's collecting, so he only wants the Spider-Man characters, so we don't have like, you know, every single character from the movies, or the like, game in this case, and then movie later on, we just got, you know, just all the actual Spider-Man, so those are those two there that we'll take a look at. Then we're going into the Spider-Verse, and or the Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse pops, and we've got, here we've got the, just the regular Spider-Man, Peter Parker, and then we've got Miles Morales, Spider-Man, which of course is, you know, the two like main characters from the movie that we'll be seeing. Um, so we've got both of those versions. Then we go to the Walgreens exclusive, which of course Walgreens always usually has like exclusive Spider-Man characters stuff. We have the Spider-Man Noir. Um, the unmasked or the unhatted version, I should say, which is what makes it the Walgreens exclusive because the hat just to me looks stupid, and this version looks much cooler. Then we got Spider Ham, Peter Porker here, which again is real fun and cool. Spider Man as a pig, which is real fun, so I can't wait to see him in the movie and everything. Then our last one is again doesn't fit into either one of those, but it is a Walgreens exclusive. It is the Spider Hulk, which is like Hulk in a Spider Man outfit. So again, another Walgreens exclusive, and these are. All relatively new. Of course, they've been out. We've had them for, you know, a couple months, a month or so. Maybe just trying to get all the different versions collected. I think this was the last one we were waiting on to get and everything. But that's, like, the overview. So now I'm going to open each one, and we'll take a look at each of the, like, figures and stuff individually. So let's get into it. So our first one we're going to look at here is the Game Reverse Spider-Man. So, again, this is from the PlayStation 4 Spider-Man game, which, unfortunately, we have not got to play because we don't have a PlayStation 4 or anything. But I really want to play so bad. But here is a look at him. So he's pretty much in just the classic Spider-Man uh, design outfit of course with the red all in the same red spots and blue in the same blue but then they added the white into it so you can see the white on his gloves he's got the white spider instead of the blacked out spider again white on his gloves um, and down onto his feet as you can see like the, especially the bottom there and there's some designs on the back of the shoes as well with the white and I like that I like the white that they added in there it just really makes the design pop and it looks really good I really like I said I'm really glad that instead of just taking the plain old spider-man suit they added um, the stuff into it which was the white and made it look really good but there you can see the detail maybe if you can see it I don't know on the eyes there you can see it's got like the design into it that kind of looks like how they normally depict bug eyes when it's you know designed and stuff it's got like you know um, just like a bunch of little dots and stuff all in it to give it that design of course has the spider-man etch or the web etching into it instead of being painted like the classic spider-man pop was you know they just left it and it looks good still you can still see the lines and everything and then of course he is in a little flying like flying jumping pose here where it does have the clear base that sticks into his back and so you makes him hover and uh, float off the ground so again makes it look like he's uh, flying or jumping or something along those lines and it's got you know the bent legs and stuff similar to how spider-man would be when he's jumping and everything and this just looks really nice um, for this game reverse spider-man Next up is the Game Reverse Glow in the Dark Negative Spider-Man. This is the GameStop exclusive. So again, this is from the same Spider-Man game, and this is the Negative Spider-Man to go along with Mr. Negative, which is the villain in the game. And so we um, can hold it up close here. You can see it's got the exact same design overall. They just changed it to the um, black and then like the pearl color instead of um, the red and blue and white and everything. So you can see he's got all white eyes there. Again, the same design. You can maybe see some of the still like all the little dots and stuff you can see the webbing on his head and everything so he's still got that same design just all black instead so he's got the white eyes and black um uh, just like base color there then going into his outfit like i said it's got the exact same uh design details like everything looks the same they've just switched it out so instead of the red it's all black now and then where it was blue it's this um white color which is supposed to be negative you know black and white and i believe the white or the pearl is what uh, glows in the dark and that's why it's 
like a pearl color um, but I can't get it to glow because of the lighting and everything um, if I can I'll maybe put a picture up right now but if not um, you can just obviously imagine it glows in the dark probably like a neon green color whatever it does but I like his little pose here where he's you know he's not flying this time he's just landed on the ground down in like his little pose you can see he's got his hand down on the ground in front obviously for balance and then he's up on his the ball of his feet there and then this foot is flat but the way it's designed though he doesn't stand up like I'm sure when they designed it he was supposed to but the way it is like with the heaviness and they probably didn't get the feet aren't molded like properly flat or something um, so obviously I feel he's supposed to lean a little bit forward and that's why the hand is there to help you know brace him but he just falls back so unfortunately he doesn't stand up and he doesn't come with a stand which when they do any sort of non just standing poses they need to throw in a base you know like put a little hole in the foot and then put a base so it can stand but because of that this one can't stand so you can't put this on display but thankfully we only keep pops in boxes unless it's select few or something um but yeah since it'll be kept in the box it doesn't matter but yeah to get it to stand up you have to put it up against something so it doesn't fall back which is unfortunate but i really like the look and the color design of this it looks really nice but that's gonna be it for the gamestop exclusive glow in the dark which again if i can glow you would have seen it um by now but the game reverse spider-man in the negative outfit so next we're going into the into the spider verse uh, pops and so here we've got the Peter Parker or Spider-Man so here he is in the classic Spider-Man there's no changes or differences going on here at all just the plain, pl a plain classic suit Spider-Man so there you, again you can see the eyes um, this time he doesn't have the detail they're just completely flat eyes the white parts and then of course the black around him and then the normal spider design or webbing design um, head there and stuff within the outfit in the red then we have just a flat blue the classic uh, black spider there on his chest the red spider on his back and then again he is in a flying type pose you know that he's you know swinging through the city or something so he is in a hovering so he has the base there that goes into his back and he's again all posed up so you know he's like you know swinging out with his arms to the back of him and then his feet again in the um, shape and stuff as if he'd be swinging forward and everything and again that looks really nice i like the pose and um the with the base the way it goes in and stuff but um it's just very cla just plain classic design which is fine for spider-man i mean we've got plain spider-mans before but i like you know the pose and then just the classic look of it it's definitely probably out of all just the plain suit of spider-man the best looking one i've seen um and i really like it a lot so that looks really nice next from into the spider-verse is the miles morales again these are like the two main characters out of the movie or that are going to be in the movie the two versions of spider-man where miles is transported in from his city into this uh, Peter Parker universe or the opposite somehow they're all the different Spider-Mans are pulled together into this one universe and so this of course is like our main character for this movie the Miles Morales where he's in the, the all black and red suit so he's pretty much got mostly all black you can see like red around his eyes and then a little bit of red highlights around there on his suit but the rest of it is all black which I really like that enjoy usually he's got um the like dark blue and red but I really like that they've switched it to the black um, so here is the look at his face. He, of course, has the normal eyes again, webbing all over the body and stuff. Um, he's got the red there, like, on his shoulders. So he's got, like, shoulder designs that come down that are red. His chest logo is red. He's got fingers on his hands that are red. And then the bottom of his shoes are red as well. You can kind of see there. But then the rest is all black. And, again, I really like that look and design of it. So his chest, um, as you can see there, it does look like graffiti or spray paint. So there he's got it, but it's got a circle around it. Then on the back, it's just a plain, oh, if I can get it to hold the just a plain old spider again it's like spray painted or whatever which i like that because i feel that will fit into the movie and it being a kid and stuff that's what he would do to be spider-man um so i like that and again he is in an action pose here so he's floating on a base his base um so the spider-man one was just a flat i guess i can maybe show it to you his um uh, base i don't know if you can see i don't know if it'll frame up here probably not uh, but it's just like a flat design like just a square that goes right into the back so he just has a square in his back you just stick it in and it holds really well where miles and then the um uh game reverse spider-man it's like a weird shape and so i feel i didn't like mold it too well or something and so like when you stick it in it goes in but it doesn't hold very strong so he easily falls off of his base which is unfortunate, but um, if you just push really hard, I think it sticks in there. But again, I like the action pose. So he's got the hand out, you know, shooting the web and everything. And then he's in a pose like he's, you know, like he's swinging and everything with his, you know, front leg out and front or back, other leg to the back and stuff. And it just, I like the action poses they come up with Spider-Man. Because he is like the most limble and movable, like, 
uh, character there is, so I like how they try and get the different poses in on Pops and everything to make it look really nice, but that Miles looks really cool. Then we got our Walgreens exclusive Spider-Man Noir, again another version in the movie that um, we will be seeing, and so he is in just an all solid black outfit, so he's supposed to be I think um, he's, I forget the whole story line behind him, he's still Peter Parker but he's more like if it was Uncle Ben that became Peter Parker, like he was um, around the one of the world wars, again I can't remember all the details, it's been so well since I've read about him, but he's, you know, so this is set back in like the 20s or some, so probably after World War One. so he has like a military style outfit on, but it's all black, so again he's just got a black um, face covering there, which I like how they did add the details, you can see the lines, designs in there, they're just uh, shinier black is what they did, so you can see the those, and it goes on the top of the head and everything, then he's got goggles on, so they're like aviator goggles, then he's got an aviator jacket on um which maybe that's what maybe it was his uncle's outfit from this time again it's a whole different universe so um but i think maybe his uncle was in the war or something this is his outfit that peter's like taking and wearing or something again i don't remember all the details so don't criticize me for not knowing it all it's been so while but i know it has something to do with a war outfit here that's all black and so he's got that trench coat on again we saw what's a classic in like world war one and everything then he's got a a uh, shirt on there I think it's like kind of like a bulletproof vest or something on underneath there at least what would be bulletproof for back then and then just black leather pants leather boots and then just the normal like I said war type outfit going on um so the design he doesn't come with a base because he's not obviously in any pose he's just standing and again the non uh, exclusive version has a hat on like a fedora hat which is stupid and ugly this version definitely looks a lot better but his foot as you can probably see this foot right here is like bent upwards so as he stands he doesn't really stand flat and he kind of falls forward again to be able to like brace himself to catch it so again we may have to try and work on this foot like put it in hot water or something to try and bend it back and get it flattened out which is unfortunate that you know it like that's the one bad thing about pops is that they easily can get bent and twisted and then you have a pop so if you want it out of the box it can't stand at all and so it kind of you know ruins the whole thing and I've had to rebuy a lot of characters that I want to have out of the box on you know for a reason I've had to rebuy them just because they can't stand so it's like I have a character that lays down and it's kind of pointless but I think this looks really cool and to me is definitely the best version for this um, if you want Spider-Man Noir is definitely the un uh, hatted one because I think that hat looks stupid but it still looks really nice then our last Into the Spider-Verse figure is Peter Porker here, or Spider-Ham. So again, it's a pig that has gotten bit by, you know, like a spider and gets the powers of Spider-Man. And so there is a look at his head there. So he's got, you know, kind of like the, um, uh, forget the pig from like Looney Tunes and stuff, but it's got, um, Porky Pig, yeah, it's got like his design pretty much. And then they just put a Spider-Man outfit on it. So his head, as you can see, does have like the Porky Pig, like head design. He's got these ears on top. Which I know pigs have ears, but they don't have ears like this big and floppy and everything. Um, but I like the look of it, though. It makes it, you know, look more animal. Then he's got the pig snout, which, of course, has Spider-Man eyes on it as well. I like, so you can see his eyes there. And then it's got the eyes there on the nose, which I think is always funny and cute. Then he's in just the classic Spider-Man outfit. So like we saw with uh, the Peter Parker, he's just the classic Spider-Man design, all red and blue, where the red has all the webbing designs in it. And then just the solid flat blue. It's got the red spy or black spider there on its chest chest and then of course has two like pig feet type so it's got like hooves type designs for feet its hand had normal fingers so it's you know unfortunately doesn't have hooves for hands but i think it'd be weird and then of course he has his little cute uh curly cute pigtail which is in the suit as well so it's got all covered in blue also which is fun to see back there which is really fun and cool and again i feel this is going to be my favorite character because i think it's fun to see a pig at spider-man and it's voiced by john mulaney which is a, one of my favorite comics so that's going to be a fun character to me and I hope he's like steals the movie and everything so that's really cool again another Walgreens exclusive of Spider-Ham and our last one here is the Walgreens exclusive Spider Hulk, which to me is definitely the coolest out of this. I don't know why. I'm not a huge fan of the Hulk, and I'm Spider-Man I'm okay with. I like more of Spider-Man's villains than I do Spider-Man himself. But this is just, I just love the look, like the colors and everything of this just go perfectly so well. And this is like, got to be like one of my um, all-time favorite pops just for look. So we have the Hulk. Um, so it's supposed to be the Hulk body. So this is a six inch, so it's bigger than the normal size um, pop figures. And so it's a bigger body, and you know, 
based off Hulk, but then it's Hulk in like what I call Hulk in his Spider-Man pajamas. So instead of just being in like Spider-Man outfit, I call it his pajamas. Um, so there we've got to look just a big giant Spider-Man head, nothing too special, same design and everything. It's just giant again. It'd be cool if you could see like it was ripped as well and had some grin coming out to show the Hulk, but it's just you know giant Spider-Man head. This is all they did there. Then we've got like the Hulk's body covered in the Spider-Man, so you can see he's got the green popping out all over because he's ripping through the costume and everything as you can see so that's what makes it the Hulk and then of course it's Spider-Man um, so you can see he's got the classic again Spider-Man outfit with the red spider logo all the red and the blue red logo on the back and then I just like the whole ripping of the green through the red and blue I just like all the colors there mixed together and I love with the green sticking out it going in with the like I said the Spider-Man outfit looks really nice I don't know why I like I'm just so drawn to this and I like it so much and I think it's cool of course it's a bobblehead as all these are as the Marvel figures and stuff and you can see his big fat green toes there at the bottom and everything and he's got even rips on his back so you can see on the back of his leg oops over here back of his uh or his just his back there and it just looks really nice i like all the ripping it looks exactly what would happen if hulk was in a spider-man outfit of course i feel spider-man it would stretch and adjust maybe so it would fit hulk but um i feel you know since he rips all his clothes and stuff this is exactly what would happen and this is so much fun and such a cool item and everything i really like that they made this pop and so that's going to be it for all of our spider-man related pops of course we got spider-man game reverse from the playstation 4 game spider-man into the spider-verse of course the new movie coming out on the day this video goes out and then of course this cool spider hulk um and so we've got walgreens exclusive gamestop exclusive all sorts of different mashups going on in here of spider-man so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comments down below which spider-man was your favorite like which of all these do you like the most um don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video and subscribe and don't forget to check out the spider-man into the spider-verse review we got on the channel here later tonight thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time